set the chair on fire. I'll do the best I can. It's a little windy, the sun will be in my eyes. Risking my life for your enjoyment on Pearl Street Mall. Do yoga. 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 All right. Get your own show, kid. <laughs> we got it. All right, as you guys see, that's a lot of fire. Children, please don't try this at home. Try it at school. There's way more chairs there. <laughs> You know, kids, if you actually did do this at school, I promise that you'll be the most popular kids in your school. And then when the trick is over, you'll never have to go back to school. That's how I became a street performer. All right. All right, sun's in my eyes, I'll do my best. Balancing the flaming chair, if I get it right, please be loud. Glad you like this part of the trick because I do it for about 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Let's try some yoga in the wind. My first yoga pose is called upward facing chair. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect Take your form. leg up. Okay, here we go. No more jokes. I'm really, really try some yoga with the sun directly in my eyes. <laughs> now the hardest part about this is not the chair or the yoga. Actually, it's the training that I went through to learn this. Because as I mentioned, I learned this stunt from monks those monks required their students to remain completely celibate. Of course, that's totally normal for most street performers. You were Guys, the that's not a joke. Okay, I need a brave kid to help. Who's not afraid of danger? This girl had her hand up first. Come on up. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to grab one of the knives. I want you to hold the knife high into the air. I want you to walk up to the guy in the front row right there. Walk up to him. I want you to look him in the eyes through his sunglasses. Smile real big. Now take his wallet. Bring it to me. That's a joke. Come here. What's your name? Yara? Yara. Yara. Kiara. Kiara, turn around. Ladies and gentlemen, clap like she's your kid. Put the knife down for one second. Wait right there. Kiara, how old are you? Seven. Seven years old. At age seven, have you ever thrown knives at a grown man before? No. Are you excited? You are. All right. <laughs> Kiara, wait right there. I'm going to end this out with my favorite yoga pose in the wind. And then Kiara will throw the knives to end the show. Number four. As you guys can tell, Masana. training with monks paid off. Yeah, well. After practicing for several years, I can now remain completely celibate for 20 minutes. <laughs> there it is, guys. Yoga with a yeah. Namaste. Okay. Check out the ending. You guys are going to love my fancy ending, but I'm going to need everyone's help. So, everybody in the audience, Please put your hands in the air, everybody. Hands up. Now worship me. Yeah. <laughs> everybody, everybody, please clap with me. Here we go, guys. Check this out. I'll do is introduce you again. If you take a bow, watch how loud the crowd gets. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kiara. Yeah. Yeah. Kiara, stay right there. Here's what I 
want you to do, I want to make sure you're comfortable with the knives before you throw them to me. Put your arms out to your sides. Kiara, grab a knife, hold it tight. Kiara, one more time, grab that knife. Kiara, you and I are going to do something a little dangerous, but it'll prepare you for the grand finale. And if you get through this part a lot, I'll trust you to throw the knives to me. Kiara, the crowd's going to count three, two, one. When we hit one, I toss you the third knife. Are you ready? <laughs> you volunteer. <laughs> Kiara, are your parents here today? Where's your parents? Right here? You guys aren't going to try to stop this? <laughs> okay, Kiara, that's a joke, obviously. Hold those knives out, though. Keep the blade tips up. You and I are going to do something amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, seven-year-old Kiara will be spinning these beautiful hubcaps that I just found on the side of somebody's car <laughs> on the tips of the blades. Kiara, all you got to do is hold those blades tight, use your muscles, smile real big. If you get this right, these guys go crazy. Then you and I end the show. You throw the knives to me while I'm up on the board. Guys, I'm sorry to keep asking, but I'm walking the walkways. Let's make this a nice experience for Kiara. Everybody move up. You guys all take one step in. I think you can. Come on, guys, don't make me beg. Kiara, you ready? Crowd, if you guys are ready for this, scream, go, Kiara. Go, go Kiara. Kiara. Okay, Kiara, use your muscles. Here we go. Hubcap one on the right blade. Concentrate. Hold on tight. She's got it. Up that two on the left blade, ladies and gentlemen. Clap like she's your kid. Come on. Yeah. Probably heavy. Kiara, you're gonna throw the knife from right here. Don't pick up the knife yet. I'll tell you how it's gonna go. I'm gonna jump up on the board. The crowd's gonna count three, two, one. Then you're gonna throw the knives one at a time. Kiara, throw the knife underhanded. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm a really good catch. All I ask, Kiara, please, don't throw the knife <laughs> overhanded. It would hit my head, that's right. And please don't be like the last child in my show. Please do not use a stabbing motion. <laughs> Gently underhanded one at a time. Don't pick up the knives yet. You're gonna try to put the thing somewhere right around here. I'll be balanced on the balancing board. Kiara, let me get my balance before you throw the knife. The bricks are uneven. I will be on the balancing board. I'll coach you through it. You are about to be the star of the show. Once I'm up here, let me get my balance first. Kiara, are you excited? Are you ready? Crowd, if you're psyched for this, please scream yeah! Yeah! Okay, Kiara, before we end the show, I got an important question for you. You said you're seven? Okay, Kiara, at age seven, do you know what you want to be when you grow up? No. Do you have any idea what you'd like to do with your life? No? What a coincidence, you and I have something in common. <laughs> <laughs> Kiara, I have some advice for you. And if you follow my advice, no matter what happens, you'll go really far in life. And kids, listen up. My advice to you, Kiara, and all the kids in the audience, follow your dreams. Figure out what you love to do and do it. You can make a living doing anything. All you gotta do is believe in yourself and do your best. But Kiara, no matter what happens, stay in school and study hard. Get good grades, and when you graduate high school, Kiara, go to college. Get a good college degree, then go out into the world and try to find a great job. And Kiara, you could end up just like me. Mm. <laughs> and Kiara, 
If you decide to get a master's degree in philosophy, it will force you to become a great street performer. <laughs> so Kiara, once again, I'm gonna jump up, you let me get my balance, and I'll tell you when to pick up the knives. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this will be the final stunt of the show, the grand finale. And before I leap up on the board, I'd like to show you guys one more thing that I'm most proud of in my life. It's a trick that won me the World Championship of Juggling and a Guinness World Record. If you guys want to see the Guinness World Record, scream yeah! Yeah! yeah. In 4,000 years of juggling history, I'm the only human being to do this. What I'm going to show you guys is to juggle three balls with my feet while juggling three balls with my hands all at the same time. 20 years of no social life, 10 seconds of entertainment, a world championship in juggling, and a Guinness World Record. And in order to juggle with my hands and my feet simultaneously, I've spent my entire life practicing with my feet by playing a game that's commonly called the hacky sack. And I am five times world champion of this game. And a hacky sack is a beanbag that you kick with your feet. No one noticed. <laughs> There's a lot of cool tricks you can do with hacky sacks. And I've been doing this all my life, practicing seven days a week, week after week, year after year, all alone in my basement, <laughs> without a girlfriend. Thank you. Playing with my balls with my feet in order to show you those tricks. Sacks technically is known as a foot bag because it's a bean bag that you kick with your foot. Hacky Sack's just a brand name of a foot bag, kind of like Hefty is a brand name of a garbage bag, or Trump is a brand name of a douche bag. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. 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 That joke doesn't go over so well in Texas, trust me. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys my three favorite Hacky Sack tricks. These three tricks are based off Kung Fu. First trick is based off Bruce Lee. It looks like this. Second trick is based off Jackie Chan and it looks like this. Third trick is based off Steven Seagal. It looks like this. Those are my favorites. <laughs> now the trick that won me the Guinness World Record and a juggling world championship. Three balls with the hands, three balls with the feet. Guinness world record right here, guys. I was able to pull this trick off after an entire 12 pack of Guinness. That's a Guinness world record. Thank you. My name is Peter Irish, it is my real name. All jokes aside, I hope you guys do like this. This is my life's work right here. Did take about 20 years of practice to make this work, so if I get it right, please be loud. I think that it's pretty cool. I think this trick is so cool that if I saw someone do this trick on Pearl Street Mall after the show, I would come up to the white tip jar and throw in at least a $20 bill. That's how cool it is. I know you guys are gonna agree. Kiera, after that, I jump up on the board, you start throwing me the knives. You ready? You still with me? You resting up? All right, here we go. Three on the hands, three on the feet. Sometimes it takes me more than one try. If I get it right on the first attempt, get loud. Here it comes. Step up to the center of the stage, right on the blood stain from the last show. Right there. <laughs> Kiara, that's a joke. 
Okay, the crowd's gonna count three, two, one. When we hit one, I leap up with no safety net, no computer animation, and obviously no health insurance. <laughs> Kiara, let me get my balance before you throw the knife, okay? And try to put the knife somewhere around here. Preferably not way over here. Preferably not right there. Please, no. Yeah. <laughs> my man right here, I think you're gonna be safe. But, if something goes wrong, what do you guys? If you guys see a knife flying at your face, please do the right thing and take it like a man. <laughs> you guys will be safe, no one's ever been hurt. Kiara, you ready? You sure? If you're ready, I need your confidence. I need you to scream, yeah! Okay. <laughs> oh. I can feel the confidence. Right. Crowd, if you're ready, scream, yeah! Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna do it for you guys right now. This is my grand finale, my final trick. The most dangerous stunt of the show. Two minutes left in the show. I'd like to take this quick opportunity to say thank you to each and every one of you for being such a great crowd today on Pearl Street Mall. What you guys have just witnessed is authentic street theater. And Pearl Street Mall is one of the last places in the country that this is done. And ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to say that my name is Peter Irish and I am a professional street entertainer. Nice. It's a dying art form and it's the oldest form of entertainment. This is what entertainment used to be like before televisions and computers. And on Pearl Street Mall, street theater is done traditionally like it's been done for centuries. And what that means is that the city of Boulder and Pearl Street Mall does not pay me to be here and do these shows. But ladies and gentlemen, this is the way I make my living. I am a true artist in this day and age, following my dreams without a safety net. I hope you guys appreciate it, and I hope you want to support it. So if you guys watch the last 45 minutes of entertainment, please don't just walk away. I gave you my heart and soul. Please just come on up, say hello, and toss something into one of my white tip jars. All I ask from you guys is that you just be honest. Just you guys get to decide what you thought the show was really worth. And if you think about what I did in the show, I started by doing yoga with a flaming chair on my face. A $5 bill in my tip jar would be like buying me a coffee or a beer after the show. And I hope if you guys watch this show, I hope you guys think that it's worth at least a cup of coffee. But I also showed you a Guinness World Record. And this young girl has a machete. <laughs> I think my show's worth a $10 bill, guys. It's kind of like the price of a movie ticket for one person. If you guys threw a $10 bill in my tip jar, that would tell me you guys value street theater and you want to support me and my family and keep this thing alive. And if you really loved it, or maybe you watch with a family or group, if you could afford a 20, that would make my day. And if somebody here is generous enough to throw a $50 bill into the tip jar, that tells me that you can afford a hundred, so please. <laughs> I know some of you have trust funds. This is Boulder. Kiara, are you ready for this? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys had fun. If you guys had some fun, please make some noise. We're gonna do it, we're gonna finish this off. Kiara, once again, let me get my balance before you throw the knife. The crowd's gonna count three, two, one. When we hit one, I take the leap. Everybody, and I mean everyone, please count with me. Three, three two, two, one. That's an applause. <laughs> yeah. nice. Very good. Okay, Kiara, let me get my balance real quick. Sir, you can uncross your arms. No one's going to steal your nipples. Okay. <laughs> Kiara, take one big step up to the center of the stage. I'm going to be honest with you right now. This trick always makes me nervous. The board is sketchy, and you're a little girl with a knife. <laughs> Kiara, you can be honest with me. Are you nervous? No! That makes me nervous. <laughs> and today I'm a little bit extra nervous because normally when I do this stunt, I perform it on grass. But uh, 
I ran out this morning. <laughs> Guys, that's a joke. This is Boulder. I could never run out. Come on. Welcome to Colorado. Okay, Kiara. You're not nervous, but I definitely am, and that's not a joke. Why don't you do me one more favor? Why don't you take big, one big step up? Okay, Kiara, you're gonna put it right here, okay? You ready? Kiara, are you left-handed? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Kiara. <laughs> now, now I'm twice as nervous. <laughs> Kiara, if you're truly ready, I need your confidence. I need you to scream, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Crowd, if you're ready, scream, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Kiara, if you're truly ready, all you got to do for me right now, why don't you take one more step up? Right. There you go. Kiara, maybe just a little closer. Okay. Kiara, you're a seven-year-old child. Just hand me that knife. <laughs> I am a responsible nice. adult. I'm going to need the other two in order to juggle up here, so if you could grab those for me, and please take your time, but hurry up. We've got a crowd. <laughs> hand them up to me one at a time. And then, Kiara, the first thing I want you to do is turn around and take a big bow. Watch what yeah. happens. Yeah. Stay right there. I'm gonna need your help getting down from this, and you and I are gonna take one more bow because you did great. Okay, guys, I'll do my best. The board is also already really sketchy. It's a little bit windy. If this works, it won't last long, so please clap quick. I wanna thank you guys again for being a great audience. If you guys are ready for the final stunt, please scream, yeah! Yeah! If you guys had fun with me, please scream, yeah! Yeah! If you're gonna tip me a 20, please scream, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, children. Okay. <laughs> Kids are generous on Pearl Street. Here we go, guys. Everyone, do me one last favor. Everyone, please clap with me. Keep it going, guys. Here it comes. Kiara, I need your help. Come on over here, please catch. <laughs> you and I are going to take one more bow. Ladies and gentlemen, she's seven years old. One more time. 